Immigration, basic economics, quote, when only 2% of immigrants from Japan to the United States go on welfare, while 46% of the immigrants from Laos do, there is no single pattern that applies to all immigrants. Everything depends on which immigrants you're talking about and which periods of history. Okay, here's the assignment. The period is today, and the immigrants we're talking about are the roughly 11 million, that seems to be the best estimate, roughly the 11 million who are in this country illegally, overwhelmingly from Mexico. Well, you see, one of the things about the immigration debate is they talk about immigrants in the abstract, and there are no immigrants in the abstract, as that passage indicates. And we don't know who those people are that, that are here. They may all be PhDs from the University of Chicago, in which case they should all stay. Or they may, may in fact, be people who uh, uh, majored in sociology at Berkeley, in which case get them all out of here as soon as possible. Uh, <laughs> you know, but we don't know. Then that, that's one of the problems of uh, so-called immigration policy. We don't have an immigration policy unless we control the border. It doesn't matter what our policy is. If anybody who wants to cross the border can cross, then our policy is just a bunch of words on paper. Any discussion of, of people in the abstract drives me crazy because there are no abstract people. A hundred years ago, people understood that. And so when there was a debate about immigration, there was a multi-volume set of tomes about the characteristics of the immigrants from various countries. Where, where, where do they, how do their kids do in school? They had what, the guts to be picky. Yes. They said, we'll take some. Yes. But they better do us good. Yes. Very hard to have a society where people with very different cultures coexist. You know, a hundred years ago, they were talking about immigration. They had all kinds of data on crime rates, death rates, everything you can think of about immigrants from various countries around the world. We have no one even dares to ask such questions today. If you look at societies that are diverse, they have all they can do to avoid uh, mutual bloodshed. I mean, India, for example, is very diverse. And, and you know, the-, the, the It bar barely coheres as a nation. So. That, that's right. When, when, when India uh, was given its freedom by Britain and split into India and Pakistan, I mean, the number of people slaughtered between Hindus and Muslims ran into the hundreds of thousands.